Temperatures in Lexington on Wednesday may have been well below freezing, but the mood at Lane's End was warm. The farm is celebrating 40 years in existence this year and is looking to build its reputation of producing influential stallions with four new sires with their first two-year-olds to run this year. It also welcomes three new grade one winners to stud this year, and we visited the farm and spoke with some of the principals about past successes as well as what lies ahead. You know, Dad is, has been very successful over the years uh, with sons of APND, sons of, of Smart Strike, and uh, to see now, you know, in, in the case of Quality Road, having City of Light come back to the farm is very exciting. And, and to have two sons of Candy Ride here, uh, and we were talking the other day, there's five descendants of APND that stand here at Lane's End. So certainly APND has been the standout, you know, sort of franchise player for the farm. Uh, his influence over the breed has been amazing. And, Business has changed quite a bit. I mean, when, when Dad first started the farm, the July sale was really the, you know, the bellwether sale of the year, and you you'd go to, uh, you know, most of our yearling crop was was targeting the July sale, then the Saratoga sale afterward, and the September sale was really a, a little bit like the October sale is now. Really, the stallion market uh, hasn't changed that much over the years, other than the obvious fact that book sizes have increased tremendously. And we are lucky to have four freshman sires this year, starting with Honor Code, Liam's Map, Tonalist, and Mr. Speaker. Uh, all of them had good sized books in their first year, and so, so we sh there should be lots of two-year-olds out there running by all of them. Uh, and we're very excited and anxious for, for those to start running and hopefully winning races. With Honor Code, uh, he started at a fee of 40000 and he's maintained that straight through. Uh, he's had books that average about 150 mares a year. So he's, he's got a lot of offspring, uh, you know, that are going to be hitting the track this year and next year. And uh, so he's set up to, to, to have a big year. He was the second leading freshman sire to American Pharaoh at the sales. And so we couldn't be happier with how they were received by the, by the yearling market. Liam's map is the third highest uh, averaging freshman sire this year, and uh, I think we'll see quite a few of his offspring into two-year-old sales. And, um, and you know that that'll be very interesting to see how they do. The re early reports have been great on the Liam's maps. Toneless had two really strong books his first two years. Actually, his third year he had more mares than his second year. So uh, we're very hopeful that that. Uh, the tonalists are really going to surprise people. He's, he's, he's a little bit under the radar uh, to some of these other horses, but uh, you know, being a son of Tappet and, and bred the way he is, I think he's, he's really uh, an exciting prospect. Mr. Speaker, you know, grade one winner on the turf, bred the same cross as Tappet, uh, great looking horse. Uh, unfortunately, he went down to Chile in his second year and, and got stuck down there. He couldn't clear quarantine. Uh, so he missed his second year at stud here, but he had a very good book of mares his first year. He, he's uh, had a good book his third year, and so we're hoping to get him going with this first crop this year.